guys might have already heard that a solo ant miner S9 mined a block on Bitcoin or 6.25 Bitcoins. That's roughly around $160,000. Uh, I wanted to just quickly show you how you can configure an S9 miner to solo mine on the Bitcoin network. Now I have a few S9 Bitmain ant miners and I wanted to show you how quickly and easily it is to configure to mine solo on the Bitcoin network. Now keep in mind that mining solo on the Bitcoin network is really just a lottery. Uh, normally, as you can see here, it would take 450 years at 17 terahash. So let me go to solochance.com. I'm going to put in the terahash hash rate for an S9 miner. Uh, I have one that's at 14.5. So I'm going to put 14.5 terahash, I'm going to hit go. So your chances are 1 in 24 million per block. And chances per day is 1 in 167,000. And the estimated time in years would be 459 years before this hash rate would find a block. And as you can see, it is extremely rare for a solo miner with that terahash to find a blockchain. But this is not the first time. This has happened previously as well. So what we're going to do is go to solo.ckpool.org. And on this site, it's going to show you what you need to configure, how you need to configure it. it. Shows that you need to connect to this server using these ports. Your user ID is going to be your Bitcoin wallet ID and a password of X. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is log into my at Miner S9 interface. I'm going to click on Miner Configuration. And as you can see, that's exactly what I've done. What I've done is put in the URL that you need to mine to. I put in my Bitcoin miner address and a password of X. And let's click up here where it says miner status. And as you can see, I'm mining to this URL with my Bitcoin wallet ID and I'm mining at 14.2 terahash right now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go back to their website. And if you scroll down slightly, it says you can get your statistics by putting your Bitcoin address ID here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna copy my Bitcoin wallet ID and I'm gonna paste it here. And it should shoot me out to a page that has some statistics about my miner. My current hash rate that it's reporting is 15.6 terahash. And as you can see, all the data that it's currently grabbing, including my Bitcoin wallet ID. So with my S9 miner configured to ckpool.org, I am now essentially playing the Bitcoin lottery with these chances per block per day. Now keep in mind by me mining solo, I will never get paid out unless I find a block. Normally you would join a pool and as a pool you get your percentage of hash rate paid out to you. So let's go to asicminervalue.com and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the S9. I'm going to search for S9. Granted, take a look, this is at, I'll put it at 10 Kilowatt, 10 cents a kilowatt. I will search for an S9. Just to show you, see we're at 14, I have a 14.5, so it's an S9J. I'm gonna click on that. And what this is going to tell you is the electricity per day and per month. So with right now the 10 cents a kilowatt, uh, it's showing that it's gonna be $3.24 a day pulling 1,350 watts. So what you're essentially doing it's paying $3.24 a day to play the lottery. So let's go take a look at a few things about seeing if we can decrease the amount of watts that we're pulling. So we're not paying $3.24 a day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to HiveOS and I'm gonna click on ASIC firmware. So HiveOS does have a uh, firmware that you can install onto your miners. They have a few. What I'm gonna do is select an S9 miner right here. And as you can see, it shows 14.5 terahash at 1,350 watts. So what I can do with the software, decrease the hash rate from 14.5 down to 8.8 .8 and pull 680 watts as opposed to 1350. So let's see what that does from an electricity standpoint. I'm gonna go to coinboards.com and what I'm going to do is change the hash rate to 14.5 just to get a price on what it currently is. 1350 so 1350 watts i'm going to change the electricity to 10 cents and i'm going to ignore the pool fee just for now so again it's showing three dollars and 24 cents a day 
that you're going to be pulling for electricity at this wattage. So what I'm going to do now is change it to 8.8 .8 terahash and 680 watts. Same electricity. So what it's going to do is put it down to $1.63 a day. So that's a significant decrease in electricity for playing the lottery. So let's take a look to see how that affects us. So what we're going to do is go back to solochance.com. So if you take a look, it's 459 years. Your chance per day is one in $167,000. So I'm going to bring this down to 8.8 .8 terahash and see what the effect does on the odds. So it increased it by double. The odds have dramatically decreased but so has the electricity rate of me playing that lottery at $1.63 a day. Okay guys, so let's see what we can do this. So we have two versions for SD card content or a web upgrade. What I'm gonna choose is web upgrade. So I'm gonna download this file. So you can see it downloaded it right here. And now I'm gonna go to my AntMiner. So what I'm gonna do is go to system, shows you all the information, and I'm gonna click on upgrade. In here, it gives you the option to do a new firmware. So I'm gonna choose a file. Okay, so I've chosen that file and I'm gonna say flash image. It's asking if I want to replace it. I'm gonna just say, okay. So what it's doing now is updating the firmware on that S9. So let's give it a few minutes and I'll come back when it's done. So the next steps we're gonna do is get our farm hash. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna log into Hive OS and go get my farm ID. So here's my farm hash. I'm gonna copy that to clipboard. So I uh, logged into my S9 miner with my IP address. You can see now it says Hive on ASIC. Has some information here as well. I'm gonna click on to Hive OS. I'm going to paste my farm hash ID. I'm gonna hit save and apply. So I'm logging into Hive OS. I'm gonna go back to my farm again. I'm gonna click there. And now you can see that I have an ASIC mining right now. So I'm going to apply a flight sheet. So I'm going to look for BTC. There it is right there. I'm going to add a wallet. And so what I'm going to do is paste my Bitcoin wallet ID. I'm going to enter the worker name. I'm going to call this S9 Lottery Miner. And I'm going to click on Create. Okay, next I'm going to select a pool. So what I'm going to say is Configure in Miner. I'm going to choose ASIC Miner. I'm going to name this flight sheet. I'm just going to call it S9 ASIC. And I'm going to say create flight sheet. So it's asking me to create the minor configuration. I'm going to grab the URL, which is this guy right here. I'm going to copy him. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go back to flight sheet and I'm going to put in the URL there. Password I'm going to put as an X. And I'm going to apply changes. And I'm going to create flight sheet. And now that I have that flight sheet, I'm going to go back to my ASIC miner. You can see that it's there. I'm going to create a flight sheet and I'm going to apply that new flight sheet that we just created. I'm going to click on the little rocket. It's applying that configuration. I'm going to go back to overview and now it's telling me that I have an overclocking profile missing. I'm going to click there. I'm going to select what the defaults here are. Here is that 8.8 .8 terahash that I was talking about. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to say apply changes. I'm going to go back to overview. I am getting these warnings that my fans are not working. Uh, that is not correct. The fans are working. I'll need to take a look to see why it's saying that. So let's give it a few minutes for the miner to spin up and start hashing. So what I'm going to do is to auto refresh this page. So I'm going to click up here on this little clock and I'm going to say refresh every 30 seconds. You can manually refresh by clicking this little double arrow in a circle. All right guys, so I'm auto refreshing here. As you can see, it's starting to mine. It's showing 9.7 currently right now. So I'm gonna go back to my miner. I'm gonna say miner stats here. And this is the stats page for my miner currently. And as you can see now, it's mining at 8.9. So it's down from the 14.2 down to 8.9. So I've essentially cut the electricity in half. And as such, I'm not paying so much electricity. I've cut that electricity cost from $3 down to $1.27. Now, if you notice, the fan error message has gone away now that the miner has booted up and has started hashing. So now I'm essentially playing the lottery at 8.8 .8 terahash, pulling only 680 watts, and I'm playing at $1.63 a day.